Hi, water signs. How are you? This is Born with a Veil, and this is your reading for September the 16th to, to September the 18th, 2019. In Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs, this is how he or she feels about you, your mate. So the first card we got is keep an open mind. Um, your mate wants you to keep an open mind, can, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They want you to keep an open mind. Some of your minds are closed off. And they feel like you guys don't talk enough or spend enough quality time together. Water signs. Um, they want to know, do you still have romantic feelings for them? And they have romantic feelings for you. It's just as real as it was the day they met you, of how much they love you. This is for male and female. Now we got reverse, getting to know each other. Um, they feel like, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they feel like they don't even know you anymore. Like you've changed so much. It's like you're never at home um, and they miss you. You're always doing for other people. They miss you. They want you to cook for them and and spend quality time with them and, and it's, some of you are never there. Children. Now, they want children and maybe you don't or you can't have any. You're having fertility problems. Maybe you need to go see a fertility doctor or some of you don't want any children. Um, they feel like you've met someone new. They feel that like that within within their heart, their spirit, and their soul. They feel like you met a new person. And that's why you're not spending quality time with them or you don't want to be bothered with them. They feel like you don't even want to give your relationship a chance anymore since it's in the reversed position. And that makes them sad. That makes them cry. That makes them feel really, really shitty. They do want to marry you still. They do want to take you to another city or even just a hotel room, a beautiful room. Uh, it doesn't have to be extravagant. And then some want to take you out of the country, out of the state. Depends on what you can afford. They love you very, very much, Cancer Scorpio. Pisces, this is who I'm reading for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, water signs, you do love them very, very much. And you want to express your love to them. We'll get into the signs of who they are later. But if they come up now, I'll go ahead and let you know. But um, yeah, water signs, they want to know, do you still love them? What What's going on with you guys? Maybe they haven't heard from you. Um, release your ex. They still feel like you haven't released your ex. And this goes for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You want to know, did they, release, did they release their ex? Did you release your ex? Sometimes it's a little tricky. The passion. This is how they feel about you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The passion they miss. They miss that with you very, very much. But they feel like you're not forgiving and you're not learning from the forgiving. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. They feel like you can't let go of the past. They know that they've had a past life with you, Scorpio. Uh, I mean, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They know they had a past life with you. Very much so. They still want to marry you. But you're kind of like, hmm. And they really don't like when you talk to your friends or family or anybody about their about your relationship. And they're still very much attracted to you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, very, very much. Um, they still want to marry you and run off with you. This is in the reversed. They feel like you don't love them anymore. And they feel like there's not even no red flags to even 
consider, pay attention to the red flags because they feel like you done moved on. They feel like you've been lying all this time. They feel like you've had other people all this time and you've been cheating all this time. Separation. You guys are separated. A lot of you. And they're wondering, <coughs> excuse me, if you're ever going to get back together again. They want to know, are you going to reconcile? They feel that you don't play enough. They feel like you don't play enough, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They feel like you're too strict. Too, too strict. In that department, or you don't know how. They feel like you're calling in somebody else. They're, you're calling in another soulmate because they don't feel like that anymore, some of them. They feel like you still got family issues that you haven't taken care of with your family, your children, if you have any. They feel like you're not doing anything at this particular time, and they don't like that. They feel that you need to get that in order before you can have a loving or faithful relationship. They already feel like you freed yourself from them. They, the codependency, they feel like you were too co codependent on them. Like they had to do everything for you and you didn't do shit for them. Um, you deserve love. They feel like they want to be loved. And you're not giving them what they need and what they want. They don't even feel like they should stay optimistic anymore. There's nothing to stay optimistic about this relationship. They have trust issues with you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They don't even feel like you're soulmates anymore. And very soon, they want you to figure out what the fuck you're going to do. Engagement. Some of you are engaged, and the engagement was cut off. And some of you are mixed couples, different backgrounds. And they want you to let go of your controlling issues, your controlling ways. When you open up your mouth, you're very controlling Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You want what you want. And you're not taking their feelings into consideration. Um, they feel like you don't have a job or you're not making enough money. Um, and you need to take care of that. Some of you, not all of you. Sometimes they don't even feel like you're worth, they're worth waiting for anymore. That's how you make them feel. And you don't flirt enough. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, they feel you're not making an effort anymore on anything. And they still feel that you're the one. And they don't feel like you love yourself enough. And it is safe for you to love. They want you to know it's safe for you to still love them. They want you to express your love. You're very um, sheltered in that. You don't express your love enough. You express your love when you're having sex. But you don't really express your love outside of the bedroom. Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. And they feel that there's a three-way love affair going on or that you had somebody else. Uh, you're a man having two women or a woman having two men. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they feel like you were talking to other people. And you were. Some of you, they've had heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you and it still didn't do no good. They don't know what else to do in your last car. They, and the chemistry, where's the chemistry between you two? They feel like you, you don't find them sexually attractive anymore. So the bottom line is, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what are you going to do with this person? Now, the signs that I pick up are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, and Gemini. So... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, some of you are not talking to this person, male or female, and they want to know, just like in the reading, what are you going to do? This is how your partner's feeling about you. Some of you are together, some of you are not together, and they want to know, what the hell are you going to do? Like, are you going to keep me just hanging like a puff fucking puppet? Are you going to say something to me? Or are you just going to totally ignore me? Or did you move on? Do you have somebody else? Or are you living with somebody else? This is what they want to know. So this is Born With A Veil. If you'd like a reading, 313-401-3707. Leave me a message or text me. I'm off on Fridays and Sundays. 
I have all the time in the world to read you. Mondays are good after 3 o'clock. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are kind of bad. But um, Saturdays are good, too, after 3.30. So you got to really think, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what is it that you want? You know, I'm reading you on Sunday, September the 15th. So this is the 16th, 17th, and 18th. This is 4 of September. So it's very important that you like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing is very important to my channel to keep me going. And Cross Watchers, thank you so much. Maybe you might have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart. Check your Venus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, all your signs, because you could have these in your chart. Thank you so much. This is Born with a Veil.